hello once again and welcome to the Waters and Stanton video channel. My name's Peter Waters and my call sign is Golf 3 Oscar Juliet Victor. This is a review of a, 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 an accessory for the Zigu G90. Yes, another accessory. But before I go into that, I should tell you that um, we are still buying gear for cash. Um, one or two phone calls think, uh, you know, suggest that, oh, are you still buying gear for cash? Yes, we are buying gear for cash. If you've got some gear in the cupboard you don't want, give us a call or send us an email and we'll give you a price on it. We obviously need to check it over before we confirm the price, but we'll give you some indication. That's the message from our sales department. Anyway, back to the G90. Do you know, there's a lot of people, well, do you know? You know there's a lot of people using FT8 now. It's quite demanding. Things can get quite hot. And of course, with the G90, which is a 20 watt portable, or say portable, 20 watt transceiver, a lot of people will take it, take it on holiday with them. Now, if you're going to go into to Spain or Italy in the summer, or even France, the temperatures we know can rise to around about 40 degrees even more. And that radio is going to get pretty hot. Or if you use it for FD8, it can get pretty hot. So Zigu have, have produced an accessory as a fan unit, which clips onto the G90. I'm going to show you how it how it clips on and how it sort of operates. It may be just the sort of thing you're you're looking for, perhaps in the coming summer, <laughs> next summer, or perhaps you're running FT8, and that does that does sap up the heat a bit on the uh, on the G90. So uh, anyway, take a look and it might be just the sort of thing you're looking for. The kit comprises the fan unit enclosure with the connecting cable, the two fasteners to attach the fan unit to the G90, four screws and the hex key to attach the brackets to the radio. This is the bottom of the fan unit and these are the exhaust ports as one either side. Uh, you've got the DC cable connector, so the DC power supply that normally goes to your G90 goes in to that point there, and you've got another connector there which takes the power from there into the G90. You've also got some mini power pole connectors, which I haven't seen before, but uh, they are there. We turn it around the other way, you'll see that uh, we've got another vent there. The unit, by the way, draws 150 milliamps. Um, underneath, We've got the fan unit itself. This mates closely up to the bottom of your G90. And I've checked it out. And this, what this does, this fan extracts air from the heatsink of the G90 and exhausts it through the vents either side. What I should point out is that underneath the fan unit is this sensor here. This, this is a temperature sensor because the fan's got two speeds. It's got a sort of a, a slow speed when you switch it on, and when that sensor uh, senses a critical temperature, then the speed of the fan increases. These are the two mounting brackets. Um, it's sort of a quick release arrangement, which you'll see once I've put them on, but they wrap around the G90 and uh, the um, brackets then fasten the fan unit in place. So let me show you how the uh, the brackets attach and then I think you'll get the general idea. Now a bracket has to be mounted either side and this bracket there's a hinge there and that has to mate up with those two holes which I hope you can see um, just above the bracket. So the first job is to attach that bracket with a couple of screws. That's the bracket mounted on one side. Now we'll turn it over We've got one on the other side. Never lay it down. I think you'll get the general idea. They go over to grip the G90. Next, we place the fan unit on the base of the G90. The G90 is upside down. That's the heat sink underneath the G90. And there's a earth terminal there. We need to undo that because there's a little... Um, bracket there with a cutout on that fits over the earth brackets so we make sure that, that is in there then we can tighten the earth bracket the earth uh, terminal the earth terminal is not to hold it in place but uh, it is necessary just to clamp it there for the time being because we're now going to turn the unit over and clamp 
the fan unit in place. So the bracket goes over the fan, or from the fan over the G90 rather. This is rather like doing a suitcase up. You've got to push that catch over there, hold it down, and there we are. That's the fan unit, the bottom strapped around the G90. And there's a side on view of the finished fan mounted on the G90. On my G90 I've got the um, base tilt stand uh, installed so there is a slight lift foot and then the feed to the G90 is now through the fan side so, that, so the 12 volts goes into the fan unit there it powers the fan and in turn passes the feed through to the G90. When you switch it on, as soon as you connect power to it, the fan will run, but at fairly slow speed, it's not really a noise at all. You can just hear it purring in the background. And it won't come on and uh, it with vengeance until it senses that heat sink uh, needs some venting. When you switch your radio off, the fan unit will still run and I think that it's a good thing really because if you switch the radio off it'll be hot and you can let the fan run and the fan will run until you disconnect the uh, or switch off your 12 volt power supply. So there we are that's a nice addition if you run FT8 or you're operating from a hot uh, hot country I suppose you're operating portable perhaps in Spain or Italy in the southern parts temperature rises a bit then may make sense you can um, uh, operate quite happily knowing that the radio is going to stay pretty cool now the fan is now running because I connected at 12 volts and you probably can hear I don't know whether you can pick it up the mic's picking up a bit of noise from the fan it's running fairly slowly but it's actually seems to be um, resonating from this bench what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a cloth underneath the G90 there we are which will be on a tablecloth whatever and I think you'll find now that uh, it's pretty quiet so that's with the cloth underneath it and that's with the cloth removed I think there's a bit of resonance between this bench and the radio but anyway if you put it on something soft it's nice and quiet so there we are, that's the fan unit for the G90, a way to keep cool, or at least keep the G90 cool, because if you run FT8, or you're going to a hot spot for your holidays, this might be the thing that will keep your G90 cool. There we are, it's in stock, there's a link below this video, if you're interested, just click the link. In the meantime, you take care, enjoy your ham radio, thanks for your support, don't forget to press the subscribe button if you haven't done so, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.